I'm in a log cabin, guys. Hello, it's Tesseract Terabyte. Welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy. So, last time we uh, entered this new dome, the kitchen. And, uh... Explored the Beach Bowl Galaxy and took way too long. I hope this video isn't as long. Because there's a lot I plan to get done. Uh, and yeah, I fed Polari a few more. In case you're wondering why the star bits have decreased, if you noticed that, it's because I fed Polari a bit more. Oh! Hey you! Got any tasty star bits? Feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with saggy happiness and then transform. I'm famous, I need 600. Hmm. We could give him star bits, but. Let's give him one. Oh no, we gave him 15. Uh. Okay, I hope that's good enough. Actually, you know what? I have. Let's, let's be cruel. Let's. Let's be cruel to this one. Let's no wait. Doesn't matter because I get teleported back up here anyway. Haha. Uh -huh. Let's uh let's feed him almost all the way. So he's perfect. Now he's all fat. Just a few bit more bites, then I'll transform. <laughs> uh, looks weird. <laughs> so, you know what? We're gonna have this outside the kitchen, because, uh, we're just being completely disrespectful today and just forgetting about it, because... Oh, wait, yeah, uh, we're not gonna be going in the kitchen today, but we are gonna be going into this new dome, the library. Just kidding, it's not a dome. Should I... Nah, um, I'll do a few more things first. No. So, we're going to be returning to the fountain. Oh, we could have gotten up there the Tesseract Terabyte way, but... Nah, this is easier. Unlike something last episode where it's easier if you do it the wrong way. I don't actually remember what it was well. So, we're going to be returning to the Space Junk Galaxy, because... You guys are thinking about Honey Hive, probably, I don't know what you're watching these videos, but, so, uh, yeah, poor Space Junk and Battle Rock just have, we've only done one star for me, so let's respect them, because they're pretty cool galaxies, too. Kim, don't, what, Camilla's airship attack, let's go. And let's return to the peaceful space jump galaxy. Let's hear that peaceful music. Yes! Ah, oh, what's going on? Ah, oh, no! Let me get to start. No! So I'm just here before I could get them. It's urgent. Mario and my brigade boarded the enemy fleet, and none have returned! As captain, I would go save them myself, but I'm much too busy at the moment. And scared. So, you know what? Let's be busy together. Let's wait for Mario to go to sleep. Just kidding. Oh, I wish, like... Oh, wait. Can we, like, just grind infinite star bits from here? Because it'd be... Um, so, uh, helpful tip, you might be able to grind star bits, and, whoa, that galaxy in the background looks really, really cool. I want to see it, but it won't let me. So, um, okay, you know what, we, we have a lot to do today, so uh, let's just go save to the beginning. Can't end up wasting as much time as we did last time, episode, so, uh... Uh, okay, wow, I have terrible luck with calls and recordings. Um, oh, but I accidentally stopped doing it without trying. Got a bunch of star bits. A bunch more star bits. That was close. I almost... I was afraid I lost those star bits. I'm saying star bits a lot. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh, oh, I thought that would like do once every time. Um, flick this lever. Yeah, it's pretty cool. To get stuff that's too high to reach, jump and then spin. We already know about this. To be fair, I guess, jump and spin. I guess they would have expected you to have done this before uh, Beach Bowl Galaxy. Anyway, yeah, so uh, jumping and spinning lets you reach places you couldn't have reached before. Isn't it cool? We should all try jumping and spinning. We should just, yeah, it's, it's, it's so much fun. We should just, it's so useful too. Like there's, we would have absolutely no way of getting this other stuff without jumping and spinning. Except for this crate, though. This crate is... That's fair, so... <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's just kind of funny, because, like, I, you can actually do that without jumping and spinning. Did I get all three star bits? Because it would have been punishment for, like, just messing with the game. We could free those toads, but... I guess this technically follows the eight of something rule, but... Or like if you spin, oh, you actually do have to spin, so I guess it really does. Uh, probably should have jumped and spin there, but uh, that was cool. Woohoo! Nope. Ah. Oh wait, uh, this is our first time seeing Koopa shells. Uh, yeah. We're not quite Koopas, but Koopa shells. Yeah. Uh, let's, we can open treasure chests with them and defeat enemies, and that's pretty cool. Need to get that coin. So, remember that treasure chest we saw back in the Beach Bowl Galaxy? If we had a Koopa Shell, we would have been able to open it. Except we had no way of getting a Koopa Shell, so, uh, maybe next mission. Which we might not do for a while. Yeah. Uh, we, we might do it soon, I don't know. I'm not really planning it to do it that soon, like for the next couple of episodes, because I plan out what I'm going to do. I like, look up what the uh, uh, star requirements for unlocking things are. If you're carrying a shell, shake the Wii remote to throw it. Hit the treasure chest with a shell. Pa pow! Uh, I'd say they're a little bit late, but that was my fault. I'm just a terrible friend to toads. Uh, don't have anything to use this Koopa shell for, so let's throw it into a black hole. Okay, now I actually want to try and hit the black hole. Now we can actually see it respawning. Let's take it immediately. Uh, okay, one more time. I'll, I'm just gonna... Oh, that wasn't even close. As tempting as it is, it must move forward to, I think, an area that I have to do something on. It's kind of a bone to pick with. Am I gonna be able to do this? I want to get into that pipe. Come on. Yes, yes, did it. First try. Didn't have to do it. So it takes you down here into this cool secret area. With tons of star bits to collect. I'll be surprised if I don't get a one-up. Okay. This is a really cool area. Look, it's just inside the airship. You know, I could just make this to thumbnail, and you, you would have no idea where I was. Like, I'm in, I'm in a log cabin, guys. No, okay. Also, even if you fail, you can, you can go back in here to get the starbits anyway. I just wanted to show that so you would have proof, and you wouldn't have to suffer the same. Do the same mistake I did, where it's the exact same. So, let's honor you guys. You, you're special. You get to be destroyed with the only red shell. Don't think there's actually a difference. I don't think it actually homes in on the fellows like a Mario Kart. Uh, but I don't know. No. Ouch. Oh yeah, this is our first time seeing Koopas. Yeah, stop them and you get a Koopa shell. We're kind of different in this game. And who needs coins when you get life mushrooms, right? right? But that means there's gonna be a boss soon. But... Oh, let's let's bring a Koopa. Sh oh, uh, guess I should probably save you. I knew you could do it. 
Um, I didn't mean to do that, obviously. So, uh, I'm just gonna show that if you ground pound here, you can get all the, all the star bits anyway. Uh, so, yeah, there's proof. You don't even make the same mistake I did. Uh, let's just, um, do this as quick as we can so we can, uh, do everything I want to do in this episode. Uh, wait, I think I broke something. Okay, we're multitasking. Oh, I saved another toad! No! Why do I keep doing that? Why do I keep falling down there? Okay, you know what? Uh... I want to get the star bits because it's, it's a cool thing. There's lots of star bits here. So many star bits. So much time wasted that it could that could have been better spent on uh, uh, not dying. And one up, so at least there's a one up. Oh, the Koopa just looked at the camera. That's kind of weird. Oh, yeah, it just looks kind of weird. So it's as quick as possible. Be as careful as we can when saving the toads. If a shell just out of reach, you can still spin and pick it up. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'll show it off with the right shell. Stupid octopuses. It's octopi. Blocking my way. I bet a few shells would take care of that little problem. Yeah, we can get enough. Yeah, if it's out of reach, you can still spin the pick up. That's what the yellow turtle said. See, the guy that sleeps is more useful than male toad. <laughs> okay, uh, boss fight. Oh. Uh. Called it. And some pretty cool opening music. So we can see that she has a, a power star inside her. Wand. We must have the shiny. Uh, I have to get coins. So probably, yeah. So you can get shells and uh, hit Camilla with shells. Yeah. Uh, so you have to uh, dodge the fireballs and spin into the shells to pick them up, and it's pretty simple. And you have to. Hit Kimura with shells to uh, damage her. And it's pretty simple. But not necessarily easy, as you can see. Look up. And if you need some time to rest, you can just lie here. Then it breaks. Oh, that was a ship. Yeah. And this ship looks kind of like the one in Super Mario Odyssey. In the trailer. The one that Bowser has. Nope. Okay. Get this other shell. If you don't get it in time, it'll bounce around. As careful as possible. Wow, well, I'm not doing good. This is not good. Yes, finally. Okay, now she's mad. Now we know this is the final phase. Yeah, oh, oh! Uh, magic it's making this harder for us because there's so many starvers to collect. What happened to you? Come on. What do you think? They just bounce off. It's boring. It's boring. Ah, come on. Yes!
You got a star. You increase your star account by a lot and discover a new galaxy in the fountain, actually. We are not gonna save. So, um. We can have one of the star bits at least. You have to be nice to Polari. Uh, map. So, um. Let's see the new galaxy that we discovered. The final one in the fountain. The Hurry Scurry Galaxy. Shrinking Satellite. floor falls away when you step on it. Be careful! Don't be a jerk to the Goomba. I tried walking along the path, but it started disappearing with every step I took. It's dangerous, I tell ya! This has like an infinite amount of coins. Get as many as you like. Spin. Here's the real oh, the galaxy. <laughs> you need to take a break to catch my breath. pretty um, intense yeah so once you collect all the uh, music notes then um, it makes the star appear in the center the black hole disappears and you have to jump into the center well I'm doing very bad at talking today I didn't talk a single time through that uh, planet but yeah I completed the hurry scary galaxy that was incredibly quick Oh, we've discovered another new galaxy in the fountain. And a new prankster comet that I wish was there earlier. No, we're not going to save. <sighs> okay, that was kind of intense. Like, So, by the time I got all the music notes, I was already in the center because I had to jump to get that last uh, <coughs> music note. And sorry I wasn't talking. It was just that intense. Um, why am I... Why am I moving so slow? It doesn't matter. So, now that we've completed two missions in the fountain, I suppose we have time for a story. And yes, this game's story is excellent. I like it. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna, no gameplay, because that was intense, I need a break. Welcome to the library. Ooh. Let us begin. Voice work. Chapter 1, The Celestial Duo. Our story begins a very, very long time ago with a young girl. One day, this girl spotted a rusted spaceship holding a star small child. What's your name? Are you lost? The girl asked the star child. I'm Luma, and I'm waiting for Mama. She's coming for me on a comet, said the star child, who had been waiting day and night. 
Don't worry, I'll wait with you, the little girl, the little girl promised Luma. At nightfall, the little girl borrowed her father's telescope and peered into the sky. She looked for hours. She looked and looked, but she saw nothing. Hours turned into days and then years, but still, the sky revealed nothing. Finally, the little girl sighed and said to Luma, If we stay here looking much longer, I'll be an old lady soon. But then, she had an idea. Why don't we go out there and find your mother ourselves? The girl and Luma fix up the rusty spaceship, and then the two set sail into the starry sky. And this is how the search for the Celestial Mother began. Ooh. That should do it for today. It should. The story's kind of sad, I don't know if it'll work with the... Probably upbeat. Oh wait, this actually is in the shape of a dome. Maybe it was originally intended to be one, but yeah. That should do it for today. Also, you can reread the story at any time. Yeah. Yeah. Have a great day.